my whole life just went from normal, everyday life like normal people do, to completely upside down. It started when Sharman McGraw, a trim size 2 flight attendant, began experiencing depression and anxiety. Soon after, despite eating well and working out several times a week, she started gaining weight. Lots of it. The next thing I knew, I had gained 11 pounds in four days. Then I was up to 85 pounds in six months, 100 pounds in a year. But that wasn't the worst of it. She couldn't sleep. Her hair fell out by the handfuls. A rash covered her body. She lost control of her facial features, drooling and stuttering uncontrollably. Fifteen doctors, including a top medical clinic, told her there was nothing wrong medically. She just needed to lose weight. I begged. I went hysterical. I said, no, you, you are my last hope. You have got to help me. This is not normal. Something is wrong with me. Finally, Sharman went searching for answers on her own on the Internet. She read about a rare disorder called Cushing syndrome. It's caused by a tumor on the pituitary gland, the gland which manages all the body's hormones. Though it was too small to show up on an MRI, tests confirmed that a tiny tumor was wreaking havoc in Sharman's body. Finally, after years of worry, she found the answer, and a doctor who'd listened. He shook my hand and he said, so you're here because you have Cushing's? I swear. I, that was, then I said, oh my God, oh my God, I do, don't I? Dr. Daniel Kelly says because the symptoms mimic other common conditions, and a third of the tumors are too small to see, Cushing's disease is difficult to diagnose. So a physician seeing such a patient may see these obvious problems of hypertension, diabetes, treat the problem, but never really gets to the root cause, and so the disease progresses. Cushing's can be fatal. Fortunately for Sharman, surgery worked. Her tumor was removed, and almost immediately, her symptoms started to disappear. A tumor near the brain. What would be a devastating diagnosis for most, for Sharman, was a relief. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Los Angeles.